Good evening. So, don't know why I always start and go, so, tomorrow we are actually moving into the property. There's still quite a few little bits that can be, needs to be done. Same with things that need to be, like, holes filled in and that here at the flat. So, hopefully, I'll be able to... Well, I, I think it's going to be a progress over the next sort of next sort of few months or so when we get the paint that we are waiting for um when we can collect that and also I think we because we're going to need <laughs> what we know is we're going to have to downsize quite a lot of stuff so um I'm probably going to be doing a few like vlogs sorting out and reorganizing and getting rid of things or to donate different bits because there we do we own a lot of stuff and as much as um i've tried to get rid of a lot i then started my etsy business and now i've got so much like loads of flowers here and there everywhere so yes but i haven't i started packing i haven't done any more I tried to do some yesterday. Didn't really work out. So we're going to do some more packing in a little bit. If I can... No, I do have to do it. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to pack. I'll get some bags and bung it in. It'll be fine. <laughs> Saves me making up a box. <laughs> oh, sugars. I forgot to take that. So, uh, um picture down for Luke I um, I embroidered the hold on wait phone Ooh. I yeah. hold on hold on because I can't figure this right I embroidered that um base clef it looks backwards on the camera but it's fine it's fine um I embroidered it onto some canvas a long while ago for him I don't know how to hold a camera even though it's my own phone it's because uh, my wrist is a bit it's not getting any better. It starts feeling better and then something else happens. But yeah, anyway. I've got a cat scratching at the door, so I better let her in and feed her. But I will see you... Well, I'll see you when I next update you. Oh, it is warm. It's like 30 degrees outside and I... Back to my normal beetroot colour with a lot of sweat and realising I probably should have put my contacts in for this move. Um, we're nowhere near done, but we've got a fair bit in. So I'll give you like a little bit of a... Well, I'll show you some of it. There is going to be a lot of mess, so... Um, yeah, and I still can't get paint off, like... Hold on, yeah. I had a two-year-old try to rip it off my skin but it doesn't work so whatever um yeah so i'll show you what's going on we're getting there i'm currently sat on the sofa uh so I've obviously brought the cat trees in all of my flowers that need to be taken upstairs including my chair my gel nail kit and all these drawers probably should get up including i don't know what to do about that mirror Oh, look at my beautiful shorts. So as long as the cat, the suit, we basically went for as long as the cats are happy. So um, we got their trees in. It took an absolute nightmare to get that sofa in. That's covered. And the kitchen. Oh, thing. Okay, things have moved. But, right, we've got the fridge and microwave. More mess, but we're, we're getting there slowly. Um... Oh, I keep saying um, but that's because I'm shattered and exhausted and completely ready to go to sleep. But I'm planning to uh, see if someone wants to go get me a little bath tray. That's the bookcase. And um, one of Luke's pictures, we're going to hopefully put it at the top of the stairs. Like, up there, but a bit over. But yeah, we've got two bookcases. We're not sure where they're going to go. Going to have to downsize quite a lot. But anyway, we'll go upstairs. <laughs> We haven't carpeted the stairs yet on the landing, um, but we did the living room uh, and bedroom mainly. There's a tiny bit of lino down in the bathroom. I am kind of hoping 
that all that in the bath is going to be out of there by tonight so that I can have a bath. Hopefully with Chinese, that's that's the plan. Um, but yeah, we've got the room started. I'm going to go into my little corner, which has got quite a bit to do, but yeah. We've got that in. We had the bed over a bit further. It's going to annoy us because it's not central, but there's not really much else we can do. But if we put it any further over there, the door doesn't shut. So we're not sure what's going to happen with putting a wardrobe in that corner. At least it's coming along. But I think I'm going to be passed out soon. And uh, most likely, most definitely asleep. I just have to um, put back the bedding thing, whatever, back on correctly and try and unfold it. And then, oh wait, I need to also get my duvet and stuff on. Oh, I think I'm just going to use an empty duvet cover tonight because I so it's 30 degrees. I don't handle heat. I've been burnt on driver's arm. Uh, so yeah, we're having some fun, but I need to try. Yeah, I need to try and do something. I don't know if I said the other day, but um, this plug over here has been condemned. We're not allowed to use that one. And there's one downstairs. Look, yeah, there's one downstairs where I think it's behind. Yeah, it's behind the sofa as well. Um, and that's got that's been condemned as well. So we're having some fun here. But it is starting to come along nicely, and then we've just had a few bits of like, obviously. Oh, do you mind? That sheet needs a wash. Um, where obviously moving things about, it's just sort of chipped, like the walls and that. So we're just. It's not going to take much to do up a little bit more. Like, I mean, I don't. Hold on. Oh, there is one there. But we'll get there. It's not going to take much. Just hopefully, when the cats get here. Oh. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'll probably see you at some point. Yeah, see you later. Hello. So, after a very, very, very long uh, day of um, moving, we haven't got everything over yet. Luckily, we've got like a two-week period, so we're going to go back to the old flat and clean and that. Um, but currently, we have just brought the cat's over like we thought the feral kitten is adapting extremely quickly still screaming but then at the same time that's nothing uh, new but our beautiful little almost five-year-old girl um she has got out of the crate had a very look around, very little look around her. Oh, do you know what? It would really help if I actually showed you my face instead of just cutting it off. I mean, you've probably seen a bear, but we're dealing with this. Anyway, yeah, so Zelda, um, she has come out of the crate. She's just, she had a little look around, and then Demi decided that she wanted to play with sister and she's not ready to fall that. Um, so she, Zelda's run right back into her crate. So I'm just going to leave her to it. There's not really much else I can do. Um, she's got to just come around on her own, unfortunately. I mean, if you have any other tips that might help, we've tried fairly way, but we haven't been able to get it this time. We just couldn't afford to get, um, we usually get fairly way friends and all that to put in and it does seem to do something. It seems to calm Zelda at least. Demi, she's almost a year old now, so she's running around ragged. But yeah, they're they're getting there. But at the moment, I am waiting for Chinese, and um, then I'm gonna have a bath, which I'm probably not gonna get out of. But until then, because I'm waiting for Luke to get back, um, I am going to be watching, well, watching YouTube to be quite honest, because. We brought the telly, we brought everything except the controls. So Luke's had to go back and was like, just to pick them up, otherwise we can't use the telly at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm not too first, but I think trying to act as normal as possible 
is going to be sort of the best thing, especially for Zelda, because she does have a lot of anxiety anyway. Um, when she was quite little, she... I mean, you probably haven't asked didn't want to ask for this, but I'm telling you anyway. Um, she has quite quite high anxiety to the point where she was licking her fur completely off her. And they called it psychological alopecia. And she did that when she was stressed, worried. She just licked all the fur out. She was put on a course of Chloe Calm, which we put her on. She was on for about a year or so. And then we tried her without. And since then, she's not ripped her fur out at all. Um, which is great because not only did we sort of run out of it. Oh, oh, I hear noise. Is that is that is that my Chinese? Um, not only did we. All right, Demi. Hey, editing me. Yeah, so I forgot what I was saying. You'll hear that in the next clip. But basically, Zelda ran out of her clomic arm, which and so we took her off it. And since then, she's been doing a lot better. She's still very anxious but she's slowly getting there and it's going to be a long process. She's five and I don't think she's ever going to get rid of her anxieties. I mean, who does really in general? But yeah, that's, that's sort of the basis of whatever, but I distract myself. I can't remember. <laughs> and yeah, there's not really much else to it. Um, but anyway, just please remember, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think and there should be another video coming up soon. Right, bye. Do you know what? I can't remember what I'm saying. I've cut myself off. See you in the next one. Alright, bye.